A legacy is not made overnight, nor is it made with one success story. What makes a legacy? A legacy is made through a long journey of perseverance, consistency and endurance. We are Kirloskar Brothers Limited. It all started in 1888 with colonialism looming over India. Two brothers, Sri Lakshman Rao and Sri Ramu Anna Kirloskar set up a partnership to repair and sell bicycles and then followed it by selling windmills in Belgaum. With innovation as their founding principle, they introduced the first Kirloskar product, that is the indigenous hand chaff cutter in 1901, followed by the first iron plow in 1903, which was a very tough competitor for the British made plows, thus pioneering the revolutionizing of Indian agriculture. Unforeseen impediments deterred their path but not their metal. In 1910, they got the orders to vacate their Belgon factory. The future seemed uncertain for the Kirloskar brothers. Fortunately, the ruler of the princely state of Arnd offered them land in his kingdom to set up their factory. The Kirloskar brothers took a 32-acre barren land infested with cacti and cobras. They began their work and this slowly bloomed into one of the first factory townships in India, now known as Kirloskarwari. In 1920, Kirloskar Brothers Limited, the flagship company of the Kirloskar Group, was incorporated. The era of the Kirloskar enterprise had dawned. Pioneering became a habit as they significantly changed the face of the Indian agriculture and industry. Innovation was always the key for Kirloskar and this focus led to the launch of the first centrifugal pump in India in 1926, followed by the first diesel, kerosene and petrol engines of India in 1927. Kirloskar ventured into the export of its products way back in the year 1935 when the company witnessed the first export of an indigenous Kirloskar product, a sugarcane crusher to South Africa, thus extending its market presence beyond India. In 1936, the baton of the Kirloskar vision was passed on to Sri Lakshman Rao's son, Sri Shantanu Rao Kirloskar. Under his leadership, Kirloskar Vani continued its pioneering efforts with the manufacture of India's first machine tool in 1939 and the electric motor in 1940. Meanwhile, in the coming years, KBL dedicatedly channelized its efforts on finding solutions to the various challenges faced by the Indian population. Kirlos Karwani gained reputation and caught the interest of the various national and political leaders. In 1940, Sri Shantanu Rao transferred the manufacture of machine tools, paving the way for the foundation of Mysore Kirloskar. This was followed by the establishment of Kirloskar Oil Engines Limited in 1946 for the manufacture of diesel engines, while his younger brother, Sri Ravi Kirloskar, set up the Kirloskar Electric Company Limited in the same year. By the post-independence era, the company had already started to carve a niche for itself outside India, establishing its footprints in the European market with its innovative and quality products, which found wide acceptance there. In 1952-53, the company started exports of its products to Cyprus. Under the guidance of Sri Shantanu Rao Kirloskar, the group became the proud manufacturer of India's first air compressor in Kirloskarwari, which led to the birth of Kirloskar Pneumatic Company Limited in 1958 in Pune. The group moved further towards prolific expansion, commencing export of its products to Great Britain and the rest of Europe 
in 1974, followed by North America and Southeast Asia. A visionary unlike any other, he was a strong adherent to his father's principles and a quintessential industrialist. The Kiloskar Group became one of the most prominent industrial groups in India and earned recognition, awards and accolades for its innovative solutions and humanitarian activities. While Sri Shantanu Rao Kiloskar was expanding the business, his wife, Srimati Yamutai Kirloskar supported him in his vision by enriching lives of women. Srimati Yamutai Kirloskar initiated and established the Mahila Udyog Limited for poor and destitute women. The Mahila Udyog Limited not only helped women become financially successful, but also made them self-reliant and responsible citizens, providing them an opportunity to earn equal respect and honor in society. This laid a strong foundation for the future generations. The feat of becoming a common household name and establishing a global footprint was achieved through world-class products and revolutionary projects. In 1985, Sri Sanjay Kirloskar, the grandson of Sri S.L. Kirloskar, took over the leadership of Kirloskar Brothers Limited and the company started to flourish further with the vision of the new leader. Under his leadership, the company launched new products like canned motor pump in 1985, solar pumping set in 1986, concrete volute pump in 1995 and magnetic drive pump in 2000. Furthermore, with an aim to expand its global market presence, the company started exploring new horizons, achieving newer milestones, like acquisition of the UK's largest pump manufacturer, SPP Pumps Limited, in 2003, followed by the acquisition of Braybar Pumps in South Africa in 2010, Synchroflow Incorporated USA in 2014, and Redelta Pumps International Netherlands in 2015 backed by other acquisitions and joint ventures. Innovation and developing new products and executing turnkey projects have always been the key for Kirloskar Brothers Limited. When we look at Kirloskar pumps stretched over the length of the Nile, or how countries like Laos and Senegal became rice exporters from rice importers due to the advent of Kirloskar pumps, or how the word Kirloskar is synonymous with water pumps in Egypt or being part of ambitious and strategic projects at home, it gives us a deep-rooted sense of belonging and satisfaction in being able to make a difference. Kirloskar Brothers Limited has entered its 130th year. This mother company of the Kirloskar Group has many firsts to its credit and is known for its integrity, innovation capabilities, its customer centricity and its proactive approach. Our products work on farms and homes. They work in refineries as well as power stations. They work on offshore oil rigs and they protect iconic buildings around the globe. They also turn the wheels of industry. With our strong roots, we look forward to our new century, which promises to be full of challenges and adventure. 130 years is a very long time. Most Fortune 500 companies are around for 15 to 20 years. Over the last 130 years, KBL has seen two world wars, the License Raj, the Indian Independence Movement, free markets, the License Raj again, and free markets after that. The company has worked through various government policies through all these changes and continues to hold its leadership position in the pumps market. Post-liberalization, we have seen significant growth in overseas markets, investments in R&D and technology and systems. Today, our front end is monitored with the latest IT systems and our R&D team, which operates across three continents, 
uses the latest softwares as well as operates the largest 3D printing machines in the world. Also, we use artificial intelligence for various uh, application systems and augmented reality for various other purposes. Today, through our consolidation in markets, through acquisitions and organic growth, we hold a leadership position in the UK, a very dominant position in Southeast Asia and have currently strong growth in America as well as European markets. As we consolidate our position, in markets around the world. We're getting ready to face the world as a multinational company with a very global team. Kirloska Brothers Limited has experienced a complete transformation from a small factory shed to a multinational conglomerate over the last 130 years. Numerous changes have taken place over time. However, the one aspect that has remained constant is our customer-centric approach. I strongly believe that it is this customer-centric approach our spirit of innovation and our adaptability to the changing market that has enabled us to maintain our leadership position for such a long duration. We at Kirloska Brothers Limited take immense pride in being ranked among the global market leaders in fluid management technology and are confident to live up to the trust that our customers have in our brand and the Kirloska legacy. Today, we find ourselves as a strong family of more than 6,000 members and our products and services spread across a wide spectrum of businesses around the globe. As we complete 130 years and move towards the future with a focus on a better tomorrow, we are well equipped to face challenges which lie ahead of us in the coming century continuing with our legacy of enriching lives further.